God bless in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to share a dream that I had the other day. I had it last week. Um, I think it was last week. Either it was last week or two weeks ago. I don't want to say it before. I um. I don't. I don't say. It. Um. So I saw myself. I was. Ah oh man, I just woke up, so I don't even really. All right, so I saw myself. Um, I was in I was in Seattle, Washington, at my grandparents' house, and I was looking up in the sky, and I saw I saw a bunch of UFOs, big like huge CD case, huge CDs. I'm talking about. They was big, and I was like, there they go again. I was like, there they go again. And um, then after that, and they was like lowering, you know, they was like lowering themselves, like, you know, almost as if it's like, like, like they saying, like, I see you down there, whatever. And I was like, Lord, you know what I'm saying? I was like, Lord, like, don't let them get me, Lord, like, Lord. Like, Lord, I, and I was rebuking him, like, in the name of Yeshua, in the name of the Lord Jesus, get back. Like, you know, get back, get back. You know what I'm saying? And um, then after that, then after that, um, that's when it was as if my eye kind of stinging. That's when it was, it was as if I was in my, um, that's when it was as if I was in my, my grandparents' house. So as I was in a house, uh, it's like I was talking with my mother like she was side by side with me and we was looking out the window and when we was looking out the window we seen all these frogs frogs all over the city just all on the walls all on the houses frogs all on the yard frogs flooded covered everywhere frogs are all over the place and I'm like, dang. So I was like, dang, what we gonna do? Like, dang, look. And then I was like, wait, but they only over there. They ain't even bothering us. You know what I'm saying? So I started looking down closer. And I looked down all like in the bottom of like the house where the house was at. And I ain't see no frogs. But I seen frogs like all over everywhere else. But I ain't see them touching that spot on the house. And it was like. And it's all like, it was almost like light that was like on the bottom of the house. And it was like the light that was on the bottom of the house was like God showing like, look, I'm here. I'm here for y'all. Like y'all ain't them. Like that's them. You know what I'm saying? This is y'all. And I want to, I want to say this because people don't know how to really prophesy just because you got dreams and visions from God. That don't mean you're a prophet. That mean, especially if you can't interpret them, especially if you don't know how to, like, speak them and stuff like that. Like, 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 like Nebuchadnezzar had dreams. Like, like, like Pharaoh had dreams. Like, you know, you got to make sure you're not Pharaoh or Nebuchadnezzar. You know what I'm saying? Because um, especially if God don't be showing you prospering, but um, you know, in Him. Um, but anyway, I wanna I wanna just say that to you because you know a lot of saints out there be making these videos and they ain't really one of us. They not really one of us. They not really one of us. They blend like they saints and they call themselves saints and they try and they do righteousness part time. But you know what I'm saying. But it be like legalistic goal. Like it don't be like you know it don't be really. They don't really be one hundred with the Lord. They don't. They just don't want to go to hell. And, um, and that's why they be making these Illuminati videos because they scared. And I'm going to keep trying to break that down. But um, I want to also say that, you know what I'm saying, examine yourself to see if you're in the faith. Because if you don't believe what the words of God say in its entirety, like if you got problems with how God talk about women, if you got problems with like, you know, uh, being baptized in water, like if you got problems with like, you know, um, uh, the love of money and stuff like that and um like you can't like love god and mammon like um by the uh, the treasures of your heart um 
um, um, where your heart is, do your treasures are also, you know what I'm saying? Um, like, you know, these are the things that can cause you to examine yourself and to cause you to like recognize, like, you know what I'm saying? He said, fear the one who can destroy your body and soul and hell. He ain't say fear hell. Like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people just fear hell. They don't really fear God. So it's like, you know, it's a problem with that. And then it's like, you fear him under condemnation. You don't necessarily reverence him. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, I do want to add that these people out here, they be making videos talking about like, you know, black, uh, the blackness on the earth, three days of darkness. They don't talk about how the Israelites, you know what I'm saying, during the three days of darkness had light. Like how I'm sharing with you about the frogs and we ain't had no frogs. The bottom of the ground that was near our house had light on it. The bottom of the whole ground had light on it. You understand what I'm saying? That's when you hear the saint talk. You understand? You got to just... To recognize the difference. I ain't trying to say that who, who ain't who is, but you shall know them by the fruit. You can't guess. You shall know because you, after a while you gotta start to examine and be like, you know what, something ain't right because, nah, that ain't how that work. That ain't faith. And, and and you know, faith look a certain way. It look a certain way. It sound a certain way. It operate a certain way. It's a certain way. You understand? Because there's only one way, and it's certain. And it's not those ways and those ways. It look a certain way, you know what I'm saying? And 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 if you can't let go of sinners, that's a problem. You understand? Like that's a problem. Like you gotta ask yourself, are you one of them or who you with? Like if you can't let go, who you with? You know what I'm saying? Who you with? You gotta ask yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like like you know like you with the church. Or you with the sinners? Like, you got to ask yourself, like, yeah, you go to the sinners to, like, help, you know what I'm saying? But you don't go to them to kick it. Like, you don't go to them to kick it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but if you go to them to kick it, then that's what you're kicking it with. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't, you can't eat from the table of the Lord and the table of Satan. You can't drink from the cup of the Lord and the cup of Satan. You can't do that. But if that's how you get down, then that's who you are. And and if somebody call you out and you, that's how they know you, that's your fruit. That's your fruit. Eat it. Eat of your fruit. That's your fruit. The life, death and life is in the power of the tongue, and those who love it shall eat of his fruit. You know what I'm saying? We can hear it. You can hear it. I don't know your heart, but I can hear it. From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So it is what it is. But yeah, man, you need to start asking yourself, you know what I'm saying? Am I, um, am I part of the Israelites? Because the Israelites, we don't, we don't be in the three days of darkness. We be in the three days of light. We looking at the three days of darkness from a light perspective. God bless the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Some of y'all just scary because y'all on your way to hell because y'all don't really know the Lord and you ain't really tripping off of knowing the Lord. You just don't want to go to hell. You know what I'm saying? King David, he said that he he he's a man of God's own heart. You understand? That's what the scriptures say about King David. You know, it ain't about just not wanting to go to hell. You know what I'm saying? That's how you go to hell when you just don't want to go to hell.